What is up, guys? Welcome back to Cube World, the absolutely amazing game. Whee! So, yeah, we're back with Let's Play. We look, a dog. That's cool. And uh, I'm just going to quickly hop in here and sleep. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well, you can probably see I'm very close to leveling up. Uh, so, I'm going to be doing some grinding just to get that uh, next level, and uh, then we'll continue from there. Oh yeah, there we go. Level up, and I got some <laughs> a bunch of stuff there. Uh, let's check it out. I got some cool. I got some armor. Uh, oh look, used cotton chest armor and unwieldy cotton chest armor. Used has more HP, same armor, same resistance, more tempo, less crit, and a little bit less regen. But I think this is better, so I'll wear this instead. And it actually changes the look of my character too. Wow, cool. <laughs> look like a peasant. Let's just see. Yeah. Hmm, nice. Yeah, this armor is definitely better. And I got an iron oh no, I already had the iron bronze sword. Um and I got this, but this is from mages. And I don't have the highest power or high enough power level for it either. Uh, right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so when you level up, you I'm going to just press X, you get two skill points. Um, also, uh, before I level up, I could to toggle, like when I'm level one, I could toggle between ninja and assassin just by clicking learn. Um, and it wouldn't cost anything. But now it costs stuff to switch between ninja and assassin. So I'm pretty much just going to stay as an assassin as I planned. And uh, let's see. So I got a new, uh, well, I've got two skill points. So now I can... I uh, spend them on intercept, which is, I can, uh, it's a skill. So I, uh, when I use it, I move quickly to the selected location and attack close enemies with my special ability. Nice. Uh, so I'm definitely going to purchase that. And then there is swimming, climbing, and pet master, which I don't know pet. Um, I don't really need to climb, and I don't really need to swim either. Uh, so I'm just going to put two, two points in intercept, and that'll just... Uh, I think, yeah, putting another uh, point in intercept just lowers the cooldown for it, so that's fine. Uh, also, I think you need five points in this skill to uh, make this skill available. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to want to <laughs> use this skill as well. Uh, so let's try it out. Press 1. I should just kind of, like, teleport right over to the guy, just like that. Um, and apparently I missed, though, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I, I missed my intercept attack. Um, that didn't go so well, but oh well. Dropped. Uh, also, I'm going to press C. C is to craft. Um, I have new crafting stuff. So first, I could craft this common cotton chest armor, and now I can also craft cotton boots. And I could do plain iron longsword, and now I can also do... Uh, scratched iron fist and that takes cotton yarn interesting uh, so it takes cotton yarn to uh, craft these things uh, I don't have any boots so I'm gonna probably want to uh, yeah craft these boots so it takes eight uh, cotton yarn and cotton yarn takes cotton capsules and it requires a spinning wheel uh, so I'm gonna go around and try and find some cotton capsules which you get from cotton plants as uh, you see, I already have two, but I'm going to need a bunch more. And then I'm going to show you a little crafting. So in case you don't know, this is what I'm looking for, cotton plant. And I'm just going to break this, and there we go, some cotton capsules. And uh, for crafting, it's I'm pretty sure it's unique for the different classes, uh, what materials you need. So I think for a ranger, you need like... Uh, you need like some sort of string or, or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, and then for warrior, you need iron to make like iron armor and stuff like that. Um, and for weapons, for like a ranger, it's like wood to make the crossbow. I think wood and like string and um, stuff like that. And then obviously like iron for um, 
you know, this class, Rogue, and uh, Wizards, I think, is just like wood for the staffs, not entirely sure. Uh, maybe you need some sort of magic thing. And, uh, and obviously for Warriors, it's going to take Iron. Uh, also here, let me just show you. It's crafting materials. Um, the stuff that I got from uh, plant fiber. When you break when you break bushes, you get plant fiber, and that's used to make ranger's armor. I know from uh, just play testing with the other classes. All right, so I'm just gonna keep trying to find some more cotton stuff, and then we can make some armor. Fun fact: I have gathered 50 heart flowers. And uh, the max amount of items you can get is 50 items of one item. Um, so I have the max amount of heart flowers I can possibly have. So we're going to make a ton of uh, health potions later. Uh, but anyways, uh, so to uh, craft stuff, you got to go to the crafting district in um, a city. So Lanarok City is the closest one to me. And then go up to the spinning wheel on here. L let me show you the icon. On the map, it looks like a pair of scissors. You probably can't see that. But it looks like a pair of scissors on the map, the icon for the building. Oh, just like that, a pair of scissors. And then there's a spinning wheel. And yes, yeah, so just use R to spin, and then you're just gonna hold hold down this button, then you'll uh, take the cotton, and then you'll make cotton yarn. Oh, look, that ding means I got uh, multiple, like I got times two a cotton yarn out of one cotton ball, which is pretty cool. And there, I got times three, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you gotta go over to this loom, and then that's when you can craft boots. Let's make a pair of that. And I already have uh, cotton chest armor. Not that I even have enough cotton yarn for it anyways. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be making those. And then press B. And then I can put on my cotton boots. Feet. There we go. That's cool. Hey, they match. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm looking pretty cool. This is for mage. This is not as good as what I have. I'm going to sell that. And this is for a ranger. And, uh... Yeah, um, I could probably sell some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to go buy some more flasks and uh, from the item shop right over here. And so we can make a bunch of potions. And what I want to do today is, let me zoom out of the map, is I want to go there. So what is what this, what these floating swords are, is a... Uh, like a mission, I think they're called missions. Yeah, they're like quests, and uh, basically it's just like a boss fight um, as of now. So like so far, uh, they're just gonna—it's just gonna be a boss fight. Uh, where am I going? I kind of zoomed out of the map. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a boss fight, and you're gonna need potions for it because there's gonna be not only the boss but also its minions. Here it is, and yeah, so I'm gonna make 50 potions. That's craziness. And then we're gonna go have a boss fight. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah. See you then. Real quickly, I noticed that the item shop also sells uh, recipes. So, formulas, they're called. And there's this formula, battle-tested cotton chest armor, which I'm pretty sure is going to be better than this used cotton chest armor that I have. Uh, so, I think I'm going to buy this, because I'll probably want the best armor that I can have uh, for a fight. And also, that's for warrior. Uh, formula, worn cotton gloves and at the moment i have no gloves so i'm gonna buy that as well that'll probably come in handy also there is a formula for common daggers now that that's at uh power 17 i won't be able to use these or make these until i have i think maybe not make these uh till i have power 17 but i'm gonna buy it anyways and uh and then you know so that i have it in the future when i can make it uh, so i'm gonna see about making these battle tested cotton chest armors, and uh, uh, cotton gloves. Okay, so I bought it, and in order to learn to be able to do this, all you have to do is right-click on it, as I just learned. Oh, so I need power 17 in order to learn this one. Um, so yeah, I can just put this off to the side and learn it later. Another quick tip. It's getting dark outside, so you can come into an inn, and if you talk to the innkeeper, automatically it makes it to time uh, seven o'clock there so it's day now and uh, I don't believe no that didn't cost anything um, that I noticed not certainly not money so that's pretty cool now it is day which is awesome so 
No more uh, darkness. Because darkness is kind of annoying. It's not like Minecraft where like monsters come out at night. It's just really, it's just dark, you know? It's kind of annoying. So yeah, now off to our destination, which is that right there. Our mission. Oh snap, guys. We have the mission. Defeat the ruler in Garia Valley. That that literally just popped up then. Uh, so yeah, we're really close to the thing. Right there is our target. Uh, so I managed to... Oh, wow. Caving. I really want to go caving later. Like, look. That's that's iron ore over there. That's some gold ore there. Um, flies. <laughs> um... Oh, this is really cool. But yeah, I could only make the the gloves, by the way. I didn't have the materials for anything else. Um, all right, you want to fight? Let's do this. These guys are quite easy. Not even a problem. Okay, maybe in numbers they're kind of a problem, but... Uh, really, not really. Uh, but yeah... After we uh, defeat the the ruler in Garia Valley, I'm going to go caving because I passed a bunch of caves that I really wanted to uh, explore. Um, hey, whoa, 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 hold up. Okay, I'm still going to die here, but at least I grabbed the iron ore, I think. You guys are jerks just ambushing me like this. I'm so close. Um, anyway, so I'm probably just going to die here. Uh... I'll be back when I'm about to encounter the boss. All right. Oh, there's someone behind me? Yeah, there's somebody there. Okay, I'll take him out in a sec. But it's time for the boss fight. Right over there is the boss fight, that big lizard right there. And this place is crawling with lizards, though. So I'm going to have to, like, try and take them out one by one. And I can always just, like, rest uh, here in these tents afterwards because I'm going to be injured from taking these guys out. But it'll give me some good experience and everything. Um... But yeah, if I try and take them on now, I'll just just get owned because there's so many, so many lizards. Uh, see, let's do this. Very stealthy. I'm an. Oh my gosh, look how many guys there are here. I'm an assassin, so uh, yeah, I can I can sneak around, take out my enemies. Maybe. <laughs> um. I honestly think if I hide behind these things, they're eventually going to ignore me. Like, yeah. They don't really notice me. That's pretty cool. Um, right, so there he is. If I can just get to him and not be interrupted by some lizard jerks, I should be pretty good. All right. Wow, this place is just crawling with, like, this is like lizard, like, encampment central. Like, look at this. There's so many camps around here. There's so many lizard men. But all right. Oh, oh please don't lag on me. Don't lag. It's the boss fight. No lagging. All right. Let's do this. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I missed. Wow, that's a fail. Yeah, I have drank in like half my potions already, and he's not at all. Barely down any health at all. Dodge. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've drank in half my potions, and uh, he's not down half health, so I'm definitely not going to be able to do this. Just saying. Wow. Um, I don't I don't know. I Yeah, I just don't think I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this. Um, dodge. And, yeah, this is just crazy. So, I'm just going to die here. Um, survive as long as I can, but... Oh, that is crazy. I thought these missions I would be able to do... I thought it's supposed to be scalable to my level. So, uh, I should be able to do it. Even with, like, 50 potions um, at my level. Uh, but, apparently not. Uh, so, I'm going to look around for a another like dungeon um like <laughs> one that i can actually do and uh yeah wow, wasted so many potions but of course i can just get more and uh because there's there's like other like dungeons like uh, castles and temples and stuff like that so i'm gonna go sing about those 
Um, and or you can also go caving as well. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what I do. Um, there's so much stuff to do in Cube World. It just kind of depends. Uh, you know, whatever you run into. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. I've decided we're going to go caving because I found this cave. Uh, so you can press F to pull out your lamp. And I only have an iron lamp, which I think is like the basic lamp. Well, you start with it. And I think it's probably the worst lamp possible. Um, but it lights it up pretty nicely, just like just like a, a torch. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, so these bats are everywhere. They're quite annoying. Especially when they fly up like that. Pretty lame. Quit flying from me. Uh, Right, so, anyways, in these caves, you'll find different ore deposits. There's silver, gold, and iron, and mainly iron is what I want, and I can't really see anything, and squeeze through here. Oh, wow, this place is quite big. Yeah, where's all the deposits? Um, they're kind of, not really rare, um, but they are spaced out. All right, so here we go. Here's an iron ore deposit sub. To mine, you just literally just hit the thing and then you get some iron nuggets which you later smelt down into iron cubes which you can use to craft or to uh, upgrade your weapons with uh and yeah so that was this is kind of disappointing cave only one uh iron ore uh, but i'm gonna look around because this oh is this another one here we go iron deposit uh, i'm gonna look around because yeah you'll find tons of caves in mountainous areas as such as these uh yeah oh man this whole place is probably going to be littered with them uh, so yeah i'm going to look around and uh yeah let's get some iron oh look emerald deposit i didn't know those existed um <laughs> yeah by the way you can use skills and just smash those things uh but check it out let me go to my crafting uh battered uh, or battle tested cotton chest armor the crafting recipe that I bought takes emerald nuggets so I was really happy when I saw this um, I still need linen but this thing is quite strong uh, so yeah that's really cool that I um, found some emerald deposits and uh, whoops <laughs> hate it when I miss with my special attack um, yeah wow I'm in quite a big cave system, so I'll probably find a ton of iron and stuff, and then, uh, yeah, we can, we can do stuff with them. Oh my goodness, sapphire deposit. Whoa, I must be deep, deep, deep within the earth. This is incredibly rare, I think. <laughs> All right, guys, just quit taking a quick nap here. And uh, as you can see, I am almost at level three. And I really want to level up this episode. And uh, so I am going to really quickly and uh, as I mentioned before, with new levels comes new crafting recipes and new uh, armor and stuff that you can wear and weapons that I can use and stuff like that. Uh, so I really want to level up and then I'm going to finish the episode with... Uh, oh, I can put my light away. That's the F key, by the way, to toggle that on and off. Uh, yeah, so I really want to uh, level up and uh, yeah, check out the new features. And I'm going to end the episode with... Uh, cotton uh, with you know checking out the new stuff that I can make and potentially wearing it and there we go leveled up by killing some cows that's kind of funny well a cow anyways and uh, oh don't interfere climbing guys what are you no bold hmm uh, yeah, level three. Let's check out. Uh, oh, yeah, I got some skills. 
gonna put them in let's see that just decreases my cooldown uh, but I really don't need to increase any of these stats um, yet not really useful at the moment let's check out crafting I can make cotton gloves oh I see okay so they're cotton gloves which are better than worn cotton gloves okay why not <laughs> And worn iron daggers. Okay. And let's see. Oh, I can make mushroom spits, which I'll make some now because I'm actually full on mushroom. Oh no, I need a campfire. Okay, I'll make some later. And also, I noticed a new potion, cactus potion, and that heals a lot more than well, only 24 more health than a uh, life potion. So um. Yeah, and that requires prickly pear, which I do not have. And, uh, got a bunch of iron, got a bunch of cotton. Um, let's just quickly check. I'm power 10, so I can't quite, uh, ooh, some good stuff. Uh, I can't quite learn common iron daggers yet. Um, artless iron shield, that's for warriors, so I can't learn that either. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm going to return to the city, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some, I guess I'm going to do some work off screen. Uh, what power level do I need? I'm at level 10, uh, 17. I think that's probably level 4. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, train a bunch, because there's a bunch of, I'm near, uh, whatchamacallit, Garia Valley, which had all the lizards men in there. Lizard men are really good to train on, I think, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm going to do a bunch of training off screen because this game is a lot about fighting. And um, at the moment, I can't do much of like dungeon sieging or anything because I'm not uh, very high level. And yeah, to basically further progress my cube world let's play, I'm going to have to kill some lizard men. And I'm going to have to do some screen uh, work off screen. Uh, so. Yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I've, I've done a lot of fighting off screen already, actually, in the series. Um, so one level, I'm going to gain one level. I'm going to go to level four. And um, then, yeah. <laughs> then I'll start the next episode. Um, oh, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Crazy amounts of death. Um, but, yeah. As always, thanks for watching. And thank you guys so much for the support. Some of you uh, seemed really interested in a let's play and uh, others noted that uh yeah i'm really into this game <laughs> um so yeah uh but don't worry my other let's plays will also uh resume as well and uh but yeah guys thanks for watching and uh don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the series and holy crap that's a lot of guys see ya next time